Mr. Escobar, a few questions. How'd the play got started? How he got the ideas for the show? What's up with that blue scarf he always wears? Listen, Rhonda, I gotta get out of this town. My old man, he just doesn't understand. Oh, Reb, be strong for both of us. Rhonda walks to the table. Worried. Okay, hold on a second, Miranda. That was... Great. Uh, we're on our way to the stars. But Rhonda walks to the table worried. It isn't dialogue. You actually do it. It's. Oh, Reb, be strong for the both of us. And you walk to the table worried. Uh, but you don't have to say it. Oh, right, right. Uh, Mr. Escobar, I just want to thank you again for letting me be in this play. Acting is like the greatest thing I've ever done. Mm. Wow, Miranda's officially in love with acting. Maybe when she's 30 years old, she can play a teenager on Dawson's Creek. You're very welcome, Miranda. Let's move on to the drag race scene, shall we? Larry! Care to join us? <laughs> it's Tudgeman. Oh, Stingo, why does Reb do such dangerous things? You're his best friend, and I can't get through to him. Why, oh, why won't he let me in? How come this is so lame? It's just rehearsal. I mean, I'm sure the movie with a hockey-playing chimp wasn't brilliant the first time they ran through it. It'll get better. Yeah, right. Can't you talk some sense into him, Tudgeman? Um, I'm Stingo, remember? Oh, can't you talk some sense into him, Stingo? At least I sure hope it gets better. I can't believe that garage sale your parents had. I never knew people would pay money old junk. I mean, that lady with that weird purple thing on her neck paid five dollars for a cookie jar shaped like an elf. Ugh. Hey, I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. Sell my stuff. I've got a room full of junk I could get rid of. Then, we'll have the money for the walkie-talkies. Here's to money. Oh, sorry, Lenny. My bad. Here. 